Good morning everyone. In today's video I'm going to show you how to deal uh, with the sweep command inside Dynamo for Revit. And in it I'm going to explain a uh, different uh, condition and uh, starting from a very basic straight line sweep. And I'm just going to take this file that I already made and show you a step by step uh, what, what's the good and what's bad and how to deal with the different complexities when you want to do a sweep. So in order to sweep something correctly, that's different, of course, different type of sweep you can find here. But I'm going to use with the surface.bysweep, which is, you know, the most basic one, which is technically need a profile and we need a path. So the profile is the cross section and the path, as you can see, is just a line. It could be straight, could be curved, could be nerves. Uh, could be easy or complex and the, the profile would be repeated along the path to generate the sweep or the 3D geometry. So how to start, it's very basic. It's, I just created a point here which is the 0, 0, another point which is 20 meter above, you know, in direction of the Y as you can see and then I just created a line between them and I'm going to show you step by step uh, what's good and what's bad and, and what's the, the things that you might face when you model that. The first ever mistake to do is, uh, you know, you go ahead and, you know, create your profile. So when you create the profile, uh, I'm going to just, you know, show you whatever I've done here before. I've already prepared that example before. So I'm, I'm just making a circle here with a radius of default of one. And the center is, you know, what you really prefer to do is to put it in the same place where you started the uh, you know, the, the, the path itself. So that's the circle. I made it just for the sake of this polygon uh, regular, which is actually need a circle to be, in order to be created in the radius, and the, sorry, in the amount of, uh, you know, the size, which is four. So that's what I got, that's my rectangle. And indeed, I really need to rotate that in a 45 degree and, and against the Z axis. So uh, I get this guy like this. So I don't need the original polygon, neither the circle itself, that's what I wanted. Uh, the geometry rotation is worked perfectly for me, so if I take this, which is the, the rectangle itself, and give it to the, the profile, and don't forget the path is coming from the line that I just created, I get this nice, ugly uh, warning message telling me that it's failed because, you know, those two guys are actually located in the same plane. And at least they should be, you know, in a different plane or the best condition should be, you know, perpendicular to each other. So that's the first common rookie mistake. You can fall in it when you work with, you know, your, uh, you know, the, the sweep. So the second thing you start thinking about is to rotate. So I'm going to activate that. You're going to do this and, you know, you're going to get rotate that guy uh, 90 degree, but this time on the X axis, that's way. Uh, that's the 90 degree and now when you go to the sweep and activate it technically that's what you want to reach so this is the sweep in its best condition in the most easiest way actually to be made and when the cross section or the path is actually perpendicular exactly on the first point of that long path to generate for us the required geometry anywho so that's a basic two point or straight line uh, sweep so how complicated it can go. It really can go really crazy. So I'm going to go up having a little bit of more complex geometry. So I'm going to go with a, a three-point curve or arc, actually. It's rather than more than a curve. Let's see what we can have in here. So by the existence of this guy, which is a three-point curve, a three-point arc, sorry, it's very easy to be generated again it's a point on the zero zero and then a 10 by 5 to generate this point up there and then just 20 in the y you know to get this three points and then you know this very basic art dot by three points to generate the arc or the curved geometry now what we really need to do is to test the situation we have or we got in here so if i might go and repeat Whatever I've done in the previous exercise by drawing a circle on this, you know, the default plane and then from the circle I made a polygon and that's a four-sided polygon and of course there's no need for that. And then I rotate that dude, whatever I've done exactly step by step in the previous, previous straight line condition, getting this, it will work, don't worry. You can see 
it's working but technically this is not correct unless if you want that you know like it's actually you not know, you know starting from that goes in that way but it, it isn't rotating it you know the, the geometry or the shape or the profile is not an actual perpendicular you know to the path itself and when it's end it's not ending the same way it started with that's really annoying neither in a perpendicular way so it's really inaccurate I hardly find someone who really like that but anywho if I try to rotate this geometry 90 degree and on the x axis that's what I've done in the previous exercise to make it work and I will get this dude here you know it's it's a 90 degree of rotation I'm gonna remove the old one and now you say that it's gonna work it works it's not gonna give you an error message like what happened in the previous steps but again it's not a perpendicular on the point on the path I mean it's rather perpendicular to the plane the original plane and again there you know the ugliness here it's not a perpendicular to the plane neither to the path and it's in my opinion it's not the thing not the correct geometry you should look for so how we fix this annoying issue you know like it's it's really annoying and in order to fix this let us think in a different way in the beginning the premise was that you need a plane and that plane goes in the beginning of the path define what you actually you know you know describing your condition so you have a plane on the start point so it's a curve dot plane at parameter because you want from the plane the, from the curve to create a plane at a specific parameter which will I'll give here a zero which means the beginning so this guy will simply create for me a plane as you can see perpendicular 100% on the start point of the curve that's what I want now I will go again for the same boring steps creating a circles defining a polygon all right and then now we come to the tricky part now you want to rotate that in order to be you know uh, not that way another 45 degree of rotation so if you follow the old same trick getting the z-axis because you think it's that way give it to the axis of the rotation it gonna give you let me close that now too early for it it's gonna give you something like this that's the z-axis and that's the you know that's the z-axis that's the degree which is 45 let's look and we can see it's it's not actually you know been rotated in the proper way so that's uh, that's uh, sorry I have to turn on this to show you the mistake you see the plane this the geometry is actually jumped out of the starting plane that we killed ourselves to make it and that's because you know the z-axis is not the perpendicular uh, z or that's it's a local coordinate system for that plane it's the, the, the default world coordinate system so this dude is as I as I really need to show it's in this case is useless so you have to turn it off and you need the z axis this guy here which is a perpendicular to that plane and again define what you are talking about you need a perpendicular uh, axis so that's mean a coordinate system so go for a coordinate system by plane and define your own you know coordinate system so you can get your x y and z and as you can see now we got it here see those your customized coordinate system that defined by a plane now again take the z-axis of it and now this guy is what you need to create the perfect rotation that keep the geometry within the same plane and not making it to bounce out of it so I'm gonna turn off this guy we don't need the original one that's what we really need so just turn it on now see this guy it's starting exactly from the curve itself uh, sorry from a perpendicular plane on the curve on the starting point of the curve and the lovely thing it's end again beautifully at the perpendicular end of that uh, geometry so that's that's really what you should you know consider when uh, you, you know you work with the geometry and uh, the way you deal is you know try to think of what you want you know like define that I want to create a plane uh, a, a shape should be perpendicular on the starting point that's how you define the tools that you need in, in Dynamo now 
keep in mind that what you've ever done in here, which is a very basic group of nodes or a script that create a plane or create a rectangle on any curve, perpendicular on any curve. So those guys, you should select them all, and then you go edit, and then you now create a custom node, and that will help you not to repeat this boring step. That's one of the most common annoying mistakes that will keep you away from being professional and dynamic because if you keep repeating and repeating yourself all the time you'll never achieve the speed and you're gonna reach uh, you find yourself keep repeating so those should be kept in one node and create your own node and then you can repeat it again uh, with a one step instead of you know keep repeating it manually <clears throat> Sorry, so I'll show you that in, in, in the next steps, I'm going to save this and I'm going to open the, uh, another third example of the sweep of this time. It's really, uh, you know, complicated. I call it a complex path. It's actually a different uh, type of path. It's not a straight line. It's not an arc. It's a, it's a NURBS curve. So with the NURBS, it's, uh, you know, way, way much more complicated as a geometry. And I created a very basic uh, helix here. So it looks like scary, but it, is, it isn't actually. It's as you can see, it's almost a circle. The distortion happening here because the type of the, the strength of the curvature that I got. But if you look, this is the zero zero uh, point here. And then I'm keeping five for each step. So this dude here got a five by five, and then another ten, keeping that. Uh, and in and, and the Z axis it's increase another five so it's a keep, keep jumping five here and then 10 and then 15 and then 20 so and the third point it's here so it's five by minus five by 15 probably I should you know rotate it like that so you get better understanding of what I'm doing and then the final thing is this dude which is again zero zero on X and Y but in Z it goes you know like 20 Beautiful. Making a list out of those points, keep the sequence of course correctly, like one, two, three, four, five, and then give that to a NURB curve dot by point to get your nice curve. As you see this guy, if I if I want to show you, it's allow you <clears throat> to create a, a different curves, a different, you know, uh, you know, like a gravity here or wait for that one. Anyway, that's not, not my point. I just kept it so you you know you have a difference you know that there's a different way of, uh, you know, curvature that's happening in here. Now, you see this is scary one I have in here? I just created this custom node as I, as I told you. I selected the, the whole thing, and I made that custom node that's actually creating and rotating a polygon on a, on, on a complex curve start point. It shouldn't be a start point, actually. I, I think, yeah, location on the curve. Uh, it's the wrong name. It should be, you know, like on any point on a curve. Uh, but the default is zero, so it's on the start of the curve. But anyway, so this dude, if I double click on it, it will open the parts or the nodes that I show you in the previous time. Those you remember, the curve dot plane at parameter and then curve dot point at parameter. And you know, uh, I just add this one. I think point at parameter. So I take the point just show you slowly the rest is the circle that has been hidden and then polygon that's been hidden and then the rotation those are the coordinate system that I show you I needed here to, to create curve dot uh, point at parameter and that allow you to create the, the, the shape on any point of the parameter that's the difference that I updated and of course I removed the sliders and I put in a state and an input curve and an input for the location for the sides for the size uh, sides and that's okay that's a mistake uh, that's the sides that the relation that's a different naming anyway so that's the correct thing that's the number of sides that we have it's full and you see that's full it's just for you to read full and the default value is equal to full so if it's, it's if, you, if you forgot to get an input it will work which is really a good smart thing to be done to add equal and then a default value so when you add it in the beginning it doesn't give you an error message Anywho, and that's the radius of the polygon and of course by default when you generate a custom node dynamo will thankfully create an output for you which is a geometry anyhow so immediately when I connected this default node uh, to the to the thing to the to the path 
it will immediately go ahead search for the line look for its start point and create the polygon perpendicularly exactly on that point of that curve now all I need is my old boring surface dot by sweep the path of course this will be the nerve and the profile is will be the shape and you got this guy here so that's uh, that's how it works guys you know like it perfectly creating a helix and it's perfectly quickly that's what we want to create the shape perpendicular or at any point you want for that curve creating a very nice and, and you know an accurate uh, pure sweep without the headache and the need to keep repeating yourself anyway any question guys I will be happy to answer uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye bye